Hello, what's going on everybody? Today I'll be unboxing and kind of reviewing the Squid and in Squid and Industry Squiddy. Um, yeah, so second of all, I do want to say that my Squid uh, Industries Triton review will be coming next this week. So I'll be looking forward to that. Let's compare the boxes. Also, the reason why I cannot upload recently is because I ran out of storage on my phone. Yeah, so this this thing is more reflective. The uh, the letters. Okay, that's cool though. Both of them are blemished. Blemished. Let's get into it. Here you have warranty, maintenance tips. One thing that's really annoying is that if I did want to send it back for a, a refund or a repair, I'd have to pay like sixty bucks in shipping because I live in Canada. Yeah. Awesome tote bag, or not tote bag, a uh, bag. They put it in. I didn't get it with my train because I bought it used. Uh, I already have a mark in there. Let's get it unwrapped. Very cool. I also have to do a disclosure that um, I did already unbox this like a couple days ago. So this isn't really my first unboxing. But yeah, there it is. Sounds really nice. Nice clickety clack. Flipping extra hard so you can hear it. Not a short stop, but it's like an ice pick aerial. So, yeah. Let's just take a quick look at it. Zen pins. Very nice Zen pins. It is dirty, and since it's blemished, I think it did come dirty. Which is kind of weird. Uh, the play is actually really bad. But I actually made it that way. Because I like my beaters very, very loose. Just the way I kind of like it. Let's me flip a bit more like... I don't know. Uh, fun. More fun. You have the T10 Torque Screwdriver screws. And the Zen Pins. I love these Zen Pins very much. They very, they're so bouncy. Like, which is cool. Very, very, very nice. Yeah. So let's just talk a bit about it. Um, since it's plastic, uh, it's extremely light. So it feels it feels really weird when you're doing things like, I don't know, I can't even do it. When you're doing things like a choker fan. I can't even do a choker fan on this. Um... I don't know, I'm just not really used to this light of knives. My first trainer was a CCC that weighed like, it's almost like a bit more than, maybe like six ounces, maybe like a bit less. But yeah, so I've been really used to really heavy knives. So, and like the Triton I consider light, so you understand, you know how it feels when I, when I switch to a Squiddy. It's like one of the lightest out there. Not one of the lightest, but it's extremely light. Um... It feels really weird to flip, but in a good way, it's definitely a different experience. Like, if you have a lot of battle songs and you've been flipping for a while, which I have not been, then you'll definitely um, enjoy this because it's kind of like a switch up to what you're normally used to. Yeah. Um, it, the overall smoothness of it is very nice. I can't even do that. Come on. Uh, yeah, but the overall smoothness of that, of the knife is, of the toy, I guess, is very nice. Um, you can definitely do most tricks, except for maybe some, some, some kind of fanning. Like, I can barely fan on this. I can do, like, a standard, like, closing fan. But other than that, it's kind of hard. But yeah, everything else feels nice. Rollovers, CRG stuff feels pretty nice. Ricochets are nice. Aerials are pretty good. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for watching my unboxing and review of the Squid Industries Squiddy. I'll end it on do this nice trick for you thank you for watching and have a good day